Launching a Global Renaissance. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 544. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of One Community Global. And this is our August 21st, 2023 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is launching a global renaissance. And everything you see happening in the background of this video is what we are open sourcing and free sharing as the foundations for launching a global renaissance. A global renaissance focused on sustainability and creating a world that works for everyone. And so to achieve that, we're addressing all the foundations of sustainability, the physical foundations of sustainability, as well as the emotional foundations of sustainability. And those include food, energy, and housing for the physical foundations of sustainability. And then for the emotional foundations of sustainability, we're focused on what we call highest good approaches to fulfilled living, education, economics, and stewardship how to steward all of this and take care of all of it, how to maintain all of it, and how to open source and free share all of it as a foundation for stewarding our planet and being global stewards, working for the betterment of all people and all life on this planet and achieving that tipping point, that global tipping point of participation so that we can say that we have achieved a sustainable civilization, that we have evolved into a sustainable civilization and created a world that can continue on. Because the way that we're living right now, for most people, if you're paying attention, you recognize that it is not sustainable. You know, and we just haven't had a way, in my opinion, that people are, that provides enough value to people. And so many people are struggling right now with their basic needs. How do you help other people? How do you commit your life to a world that works for everybody when you can't even take care of yourself and your family? And so... You know, even though we have the ability right now, we have the technology to create a world that works for everybody. We have the ability, we have the resources to create a world that works for everybody. And yet such a small percentage of humanity is using such a massive percentage of our resources. And, and as a civilization, we're using more than we give back because we're not approaching things in a manner that is sustainable. And so this is why we need a launching of a global renaissance is because right now, the way that we're doing it is a fast track to destruction. We're destroying things that take decades, centuries to repair in years. If you look at what we're doing with strip mining and clear cutting and we've, you know, poisoned our water and we're poisoning our air, you know, it's like, oh man, this is bad news. But we have the ability to turn this around. We have the ability to take this train and turn it around, and this is what One Community is all about. So when we talk about launching a global renaissance, we talk about open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions to take all these things, the food, the energy, the housing, fulfilled living, the education, the economics, the stewardship models, putting them all together to build teacher demonstration hubs, open source and free shared teacher demonstration hubs, and demonstrate constructing them as easy enough, affordable enough, and living in them as attractive enough so that the idea will spread on its own around the world and then work in cooperation and collaboration, building this global renaissance with all these different organizations, open sourcing and free sharing and evolving everything that we're creating right now to make it even better, to create even more options, developing it all so that it can be implemented as the complete teacher demonstration hub or as individual components. And not just the individual component of food, but food can be broken down into a multitude of individual components as well. And same thing with the energy, the housing, the education models, all of it designed to be open source and free shared as either the complete teacher demonstration hub, 
working together to create the launching this global renaissance with a global collaboration, cooperation of other teacher demonstration hubs, or just taking the individual components from within all the different components so that there's something there for everyone. And we see, see this as the fastest way to create a sustainable world because not everybody's going to want to create a teacher demonstration hub. This is a lot of work. You know, a lot of people are just going to want to, you know, live in a home that's not built with toxic materials or grow food that's not sprayed with any of the three most common poisons, herbicides, pesticides, and fungicides, you know, or maybe eliminate their energy bills by their power bill by building sustainable energy infrastructure or perhaps have an education model that is designed to be kid-centric and parent-involved in ways that traditional education models aren't because it's built off of all the most revolutionary education models in the world that so far, which are Montessori, Waldorf, Regio, Orf, the nine intelligences, putting all these things together and using that as an education model, the best of the best. You know, so for people that want to know for sure that their food is really organic, you know, they want to know for sure where their energies come from. They want to know for sure that they're living in an environment that is not laden with toxins and poisons and contributing to cancer and birth defects, you know, mental sluggishness, things like that. They want to know for sure what their whole environment is about. That is the complete environment that we're creating. And for people that just want to touch on one little piece of this, hey, launching Global Renaissance needs to include as many people as possible. And so we're open sourcing and free sharing it for that purpose too. So this is what one community is doing. And we're creating this because we want to live this way, because we want to invite other people to live this way, because we see it as a pathway to global sustainability within our lifetime, reaching that critical mass, that tipping point by providing a uniquely meaningful life experience that brings together people with shared values, goals, and interests in an environment designed to nurture the human soul, to to demonstrate that we are stewards and we are we are a foundational part of our ecosystem and to give more than it takes. Because we wanna do that, right? Like we wanna give more than we take, right? You know, and to provide a way of living that meets people's needs so abundantly that they have the energy and the resources to give back and to help others. You know, and so making this self-replicating and making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating it's attractive enough. So again, the idea will spread its own. We can do this. We can do this, can't we? You know, and we think that we can. And so One Community is a 100% volunteer organization doing this, bringing all this together. We're a non-governmental organization. We're a non-profit organization. We are in a process and a huge scaling process right now, which is why this is being published on a Monday instead of our usual on a Sunday. And it's actually a whole week earlier because now we've gotten organized to the point where we can produce these weekly progress updates within 24 hours, even though we have a team of over 100 people working, volunteering to create everything that is that we're creating. And we're in the process of scaling to 200 and then 300 and maintaining an all-volunteer team of hundreds indefinitely working on this we realize that we need solutions that can involve the entire planet and they don't have to live on the property while we're simultaneously building all the infrastructure and so we've designed the website infrastructure to do that we design and we're designing the uh the the software infrastructure to be able to to share all that and to be able to cooperate and collaborate globally and to involve people from around the world uh working on graphic design, web design, software development, architecture, engineering, all these different things being able to contribute from anywhere in the world while we're building physically as well with the core team, the pioneer team to open source and free share it even faster and make ourselves even more effective. So that's how we're launching Global Renaissance. This is what we're doing. Everybody's invited to participate. If you dig what it is that I'm talking about, if you want a weekly dose of positivity uh, in your inbox, visit our website. Subscribe to our newsletter. We send out one email a week with our with this, these weekly progress updates. We don't spam or do anything else. Um, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. If you'd like to see what all of our volunteers have contributed exactly in the last week, visit our weekly progress update blog. If you'd like access to all the open source content, uh, visit our website, of course. And if you'd like the easiest way to help us out, like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And with that said, Stick around for a couple more minutes, see bullet points and all the major components of our project. Until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our project.
The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.